hello friends today in this tutorial i will be showing you that how to play a youtube video inside your react js application using a library which is react dash youtube so basically this is a node.js module with the help of this you can embed youtube videos inside your react js application so this is a demo of the application so here there is a input box out there so if i zoom in you will see there is a url option so here if i copy paste the url of any sort of youtube video this is my youtube video you will see this video will play here so if i click this play button so this video will play so in the same manner you can change the url up to any video in the internet let me copy the link address copy link address and then you need to simply paste it address here so as the value changes you will see this video will load instantly by using this uh, react dash youtube library so basically it's just a react component acting as a thin, thin layer over the youtube iframe player api so it has got almost 123000 weekly downloads so we are also using this dependency which is get youtube id which converts the youtube url and it uh, returns the youtube id of the video id of the youtube video so let's get started by building this application so first of all we will use the this code sandbox dot io all the source code of this video is given in the video description so you can go to the video description and you can copy paste all the source code so for building the react application we will use this online ide which is a great environment code sandbox dot io so this this takes really uh, quick time to set up the react application so there are various templates so i will select react application so it will instantly create my react application you will see it will create this app.js file which is a functional component and this is our hello world react js application now we need to add two dependencies so in order to add dependency inside it it is very easy click on the add dependency option and here you need to select for react dash youtube so this is our react js library so simply click it and it will install it in the background the second dependency we need is the uh, get youtube id you can see that this is a, a library so just click it and it will install it so now these dependencies are installed now what we want to do is that we need to first of all include the dependencies so we will go to the documentation and if you drag down to the documentation you will see how to use this so first of all we will grab this copy paste this line here inside paste it you will see we have imported this and we also need to import this library so this is uh, simply copy this line and paste it here so now we have simply required these two dependencies now we just need to what we need to do is that we need to have a simple form element sorry just input tag input tag this will be of type text and uh, it should be required and the placeholder will be simply url that's it so if i refresh you will see there will be a url input so if i save this you will see if i save this you can even open this inside the, your browser also so copy this link address and this is live on the internet every every person can see it on the internet you will see there is a url component so here i will enter my youtube url so what we want to do is we need to bind a on change so whenever the value changes inside this on change we will execute a function which is handle change so this function will automatically execute now we need to just simply make this function so function handle change so this will have this event object so what we can do is that we can print out the value that the user has typed e dot target dot value so now if i refresh if i type anything here in the console you will see all these things will be printed out let me just type another word you will see so now we are successfully getting the values that the user has typed so now what we want is that we need to have a simple url variable so for that we will make use of state so we will make use of use state so if you know use state in react this is very simple 
we will use use state hook use state hook so this will automatically get imported from the react application you can see that and the default value that's it put a semicolon so basically if you are not familiar with hooks in react this is the name of the variable which is url and this is the actual function which will be required to update this url variable and now what we want is that we need to embed the youtube component wherever the youtube video will be embedded so here we need to provide these options so this is a just a array here or oh, object configuration object you need to copy this configuration object and you need to paste it right here so paste it so this is just the configuration object here we are providing the height of the video width of the video and the autoplay so it is set to 1 so autoplay is not on autoplay is false so if you set to 0 autoplay will be on so when you load the page it will automatically play the video so let me just put it to 0 and now what we want is that we need to copy paste this line here which is this component copy this and here after this input tag we need to just simply paste it paste it so basically it takes the input id you will see that as i reload it you will see this in a video here which is there if i click it it will play so definitely i don't want to play it and instead of hard coding the static value what we can do is that we can provide the dynamic value which is simply let me just rename it to id not url so just rename it to id since this will be the youtube id so set id so instead of printing url we will use the id here so just rename it to id and now we need to simply make that function guys which will automatically insert it so now we will what we will do is that we will make sure we pass this value to this get youtube id so get youtube id and we pass this value e dot target dot value so if i console log is console log this console log and now what you will see guys what you will see in the console if i copy paste any youtube url of my choice if i copy link address here and if i paste it here you will see in the console this will return the actual youtube id which is associated with this video so which is exactly what we want is that you will see this is the url and this is the youtube id that we want so it is exactly returning that youtube id so after getting this youtube id what we can do is that we can set this id by the set hook method here set id we can pass this like this set id and uh, simply what we can do is that we can wrap this here set id that's it So just delete it guys why it is not working sometimes my keyboard don't work so so now you will see that guys if i make this change here uh, it is set the id here so now if i copy paste it let me take the my url so go to coding section and let me take this video for example copy link address and now if i paste it here paste it and now you will see automatically this video will play uh, so you need to click on this button here so let me just change this value to 1 and once again if i change this value to anything here if i change this here so you will see once again so now you can open this app inside your browser copy this link address and once you paste it here 
you need to first of all save your work so save it and refresh so if you paste the URL of your YouTube video so this is not let me just paste the YouTube video link here copy link address paste it and now you will see this is the so it is auto playing here so you can even auto play when you load the application for the very first time so this was a simple application on how to embed YouTube videos inside your react Chairs application using this react dash YouTube library all the source code will be there in the video description you can go to my blog and download all the source code so thanks very much guys for watching this video and I will be seeing you in the next tutorial